If the device template supports SSH keys, then devices can be provisioned using SSH keys instead of or as well as passwords. Let's look at provisioning an AWS server that supports public key authentication. Test Connection can use an SSH private key or a password. Let's use an unencrypted key. Now we must choose what state to provision the device into. The known and managed states reflect the additional capabilities of using keys. Let's choose fully managed. The PXM platform will create a new device account and generate both a password and a private key. The public key will be added to the device so that it can be used for authentication. The device has been successfully provisioned. We can see the newly created control account here on the accounts page with checkboxes showing it as both a key and a password. Static accounts exist within static vaults. These accounts can be given SSH private keys as well as passwords. Here we have added a selection of accounts with varying combinations of credentials. Let's add one more account with both a password and an encrypted private key. Proxied SSH and SFTP connections can authenticate using SSH keys. If available, key authentication takes precedence over password authentication. Here, we launch an SSH connection to an Ubuntu server with an account that has key authentication configured. As you can see, it just works. The Reveal Credentials tool allows for the revealing of account passwords, SSH private keys, and key passphrases for encrypted keys. Here we are revealing an account with a password through the UI. Next, let's reveal an account with a private key from the Windows desktop client. Finally, let's reveal an account with a password and an encrypted key. The multi-platform desktop client can also be used to reveal credentials. SSH keys on managed accounts get rotated in much the same way as passwords. The PXM platform runs scheduled tasks and comes with a built-in profile for credential rotation including SSH keys. We can also manually refresh an account's credentials, as seen here. And there you are, and there it was, an AWS service provisioned using SSH keys. If you'd like to know more about this or any other aspect of Assyrian's PXM platform, please get in touch.